Hi, um, I'm Mike Stokes with Lush Planet Design Build, and today we're going to be talking about building a deck, framing a deck with few footings and using 45 to get maximum cantilever for the deck. So if you look up behind me, you'll see the deck which we just framed out, uh, and you'll see the 45s that come up to hold the large cantilever that cantilevers out over the retaining wall. So we're going to walk around and we'll show you the other side of the deck and all of the features that went into designing and building that deck. So on this side of the deck, you'll see that there's this old retaining wall, which is literally falling apart. And the client wasn't ready to replace that retaining wall yet. So what we had to do was move our footings back as far away from that retaining wall as possible and make as few as possible. So we have two large footings that are about five feet back from this retaining wall and then we have these large cantilevers that come out to the beam and as we walk up I'll show you the other side and the other angle of those cantilevers. So if you look at the deck here there's a number of things I'd like to draw your attention to. One is that over back from the ca camera angle it's about every 11 feet that we have a beam and then the final beam is obviously a little, a little shorter than that and the reason that we did that was because we wanted to reduce the amount of footings that we put into the ground. And we used a larger 2x8 rather than a 2x6 for our framing. The other thing you'll notice is the 45 bracing on the uh, doubled up 2x8 beams. The reason we did that is because we decided to cantilever out about 5 feet out past our post, our last post, because again we have this bad retaining wall here with unsecured soil. So when we did this big cantilever, we had to then also create these triangular brace structures so that if you bounce on it, it doesn't move. So it's really solid. And then we also put this cross strut just for more shear value so that it wouldn't spin in any direction. I think that's the last thing to show you from this angle. So we'll walk around and look at the ledger board next. Oh. So if you look at this ledger here, um, what we've done is lagged it into the house, and then also there's half inch puck spacers which we put in here. I often find that, especially homeowner builders or older construction, they don't space the ledger off of the house. So literally what was happening on the previous deck which we replaced was this was smashed up against the house and then there was nothing to shed water so the water would come down here and pool back inside and basically rotted out the whole beam under the house so we had to pull out and actually jack up the house and reinstall that beam and then put in proper flashing so that the water sheds from behind the, the siding and then when it gets in front of this it'll go right down the back and it'll drip out the bottom rather than get in the house and rot um, so that's an important detail on all deck building that you should your contractor should follow. So these 45s that we built, they're actually about 30 degrees. You can cantilever, most people don't realize this, but you can cantilever out three times the width, or actually four times the width of your board. So these are two by eights, which are actually seven and a quarter wide or thick. Um, so you could go out 14, 24, and basically 25 inches. So our cantilever was beyond 25 inches. So we built these struts here to hold the cantilever. And if you'll notice, the strapping is on top of both of these. That's because it's sort of a reverse joist hanger. So instead of the pressure being like pushing down on the joist, the pressure is pushing down on these struts here. So as I press down like that, it would have to come through the metal in order to release, which it'll never do. So, and then the last thing I'll show you is from the other side, the angle of our 45s. So one of the funnest parts for me in the design build process is when you come across unique elements that you don't know that are going to be there in the first part. So if you notice, there's kind of a wind to these braces. And when we were designing it on the fly, we, we realized that if we set the braces in the same place, and if this hill was coming up, it was going to kind of create this wind. Um, so it gives it a unique element, 
but it's really done for structural reasons. Like we do it so that it makes this a very strong, sturdy um, deck. So that was the, the function. So what we really design, and most of the designs that we do, we're really going for function first, and then let that form flow out of that function. So that's our design build process on a deck with an extra cantilever using the 45s. Come visit us at lushplanet.net to see more instructional videos, and feel free to email us with any of your questions. Thank you.